Okay, so in our last video, we got to the stage where we were rendering the game through Lime in the terminal onto our browser. So as you can see, this is it. If I refresh, it will have the hacks for intro and show the hello world text. Um, so this is fine, but if we get to a point where we want to update something, we would have to, um, I saved and it refactored, sorry, it reformatted everything because of the HX format, um, ignore that for now. But if we say we need to close this, I'm using Control C, and then run everything again. And then it will make a new tab and show the change that we've made. So this isn't very efficient for rapid development. So I'm going to show you a way to make it so that whenever we change something in the file and save, it will automatically rebuild the game. And we're going to use two, well, we're going to use three main things. One of them is Watchmen, which is by Facebook, which will watch our files, and HTTP server, which will take over the Lime server that we're going to use, and something else called concurrently to make the two things run at the same time. But I'll talk through all of that um, when I do it. So let's close this. Let's install the three things. npm install, Facebook Watchmen, HTTP server, and concurrently. That'll take some time. No, that'll take some time, so I'm going to skip the video forward a bit. Cool. And once that is done, you will see the package JSON file update with the dependencies. So let's make some scripts. First, let's make one called watch. And what that is going to do is use the um, watchman make um, command to look at the files that we have in source, just the ones with the hacks extension. So that's hx. And it's going to run this command um, sh watcher. SH, and we haven't yet made this file, but we will. And we'll create another script to run server. And that will be simply npx, oh, npx http server. And it will use the export html5 bin. So that's all for now. Let us now make this watch file. Let's right here. This will be fairly simple. What it's going to do is <coughs> first let's tell the terminal that we're using a bash file so that will be bin slash bash and then we're going to say echo which is like a print screen or trace building game so we'll print that in the terminal and we're going to run this command uh, mpx lime mpx lime build so we're not testing we're just building the game not running the server html5 slash debug which will get rid of the hacks intro at the beginning by putting the debug here and then once that command has run, we will say uh, finished. So building finished. And that's it. So let's save both these files and I'm going to show you them running. First, let's do, let's make a new um, thing, new tab inside here. Let's first do the npm server, so npm run server command. Um, I have made a mistake. I can't spell server. Now if I run that, it will simply run a, a, a server on port 8080, so I can do localhost 8080, and that will run our game that we've already exported, and now we can run the watcher, like so, and it's waiting for changes, if you can see that down here. So now if I make a change, and save, and now if I make, um, so now it's got the 22 removed. Cool. So now the last thing I want to show you how to do is to run these commands at the same time without having two separate um, tabs for them. So let's close them both with command C on my keyboard. Let's get rid of this one and let's make one called to start. So I'm going to make a new script called start and that will simply do um, mpx concurrently. I'm going to escape some speech marks. So these are these things over here. We'll do two of them. One to run the uh, npm uh, run watch command, and the second one to run the server. Cool. So now when we do npm start, you don't have to do run if you're doing start. There we have it. So our server's running here. Um, if I were to make a change to this. 
it will build the game. Okay, and as you can see, oh. the game works fine. Um, I'm using the hard refresh, so Command Shift R to to reload. Um, if you don't want to use a hard refresh, you can use Live Server, which will automatically reload the page. But um, I'm doing this out of preference because I just prefer re pressing the reload button each time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.